Hey, morning everyone. Morning. 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 It's a brilliant and a bright and a beautiful morning this morning. Oh, we have to give God thanks for this morning because you know what? We never had to wake up today. We never had to see how beautiful today is, how bright today is, and the fact that we are alive and that we are well. It is not devoid of challenges. However, the fact is, the ones we're given another day, it's another hope to make the other day. Once we're going to live better and better each day. Remember, where you're at right now, it is not the best you. You're going to become the best you, but only you can make that particular decision in order to become the best you. You have to hone that. You have to understand that. Allow it to uh, become an intricate part of you and a part of who you are so that you can unearth that God-given talent, those God-given talents, God-given abilities, abilities that others can be able to assist you with in making your dream and in making your life be better. All right, so I want to encourage you today, think on things that are just, think on things that are positive, think on things that are of a good report, all right, because those are the only things that will help you to accomplish and to achieve your goals and your desires and your dreams. So you can't uh, be harboring and, and meditating on negative thoughts and negative things um, every single day or right throughout the day and expect to accomplish a great life. It just doesn't work like that. Whatever man sows, that he shall also reap. So whatever it is that you put in, that will come out. All right, it's just like the foods that you eat. You know, if you eat a lot of burgers, a lot of fries, a lot of pizzas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, then you're going to see the replica of it after a certain time. Remember, you know, people, Rome wasn't built in a day, and uh, sometimes we get bogged down when we don't see the fruit of our labor. So we give up, all right, and then we accept whatever life throws at us, the different challenges. And I'm in no way saying that because uh, that. 100% of the times you're going to be oh so positive and 100% of the time you're going to be oh, oh on a bliss and on this high horse and this cloud 10 and as though you can't come down to reality. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about making that concerted effort as much as you're able to. Just as how, you know, for persons who want to be peacemakers as much as they're able to, they try to live peaceably with everyone. Likewise, if it is that you want to make your life better, you make that concerted effort. You make that determined effort have that determination within you that you're going to make today a better day in spite of the challenges. And I'm saying that where no human being is devoid of their different challenges. Some persons are facing deadly illnesses. Some persons are facing um, family crises. Some persons are facing financial deficits and financial crises. And it is very difficult at times to cope. Some persons are facing mental issues, which I find to be the, one of the basically most deadliest form of challenges. But in spite of what a lot of persons may be facing, in spite of what it is that you may be going through, I'm encouraging you to make that concerted effort to make your day better. Achieve your goals and your desires. Our four parents uh, may not have been given that opportunity because of what they had to go through. You know, our four parents had to work hard so that maybe it is that your life, the next generation life can be better than the generation after that and then you and I and all of that can so that the generation can be better and better and better each day, each, well, when the next generation comes, all right? So I'm encouraging you as difficult as it, as hard as it may be, Put yourself in that mindset that you're going to be, live a better life. There are things that you want to accomplish. You want a bigger home. You want a car. You want, you know, wealth and you want health and all of that. But it starts with a small seed. And I'm saying to you, you have to think on things that are positive. Think, think on things that are good. Think on things that are a good report. When you do that, what you're doing, you're opening your brain waves to allow you not only to dream big dreams, but to accomplish them. Because the fact of the matter is, you know, when I sit down and I meditate and I think on all of these wealthy men and women, you know, they're no different than you and I. They're the same human beings. If you cut them, you're going to see blood. They're going to die one day. They can get sick too, like everyone else. But they had made a decision, and I'm sure that if you listen to many of their stories, they had made a decision that, look, I don't care what it is that I've gone through. I don't care what it is that I may go through. I don't know what the road is going to come with. I 